What is that? I haven't got a clue, but this looks serious. This guys is once in a lifetime. I'm now going to try it and climb up. Let's put that there. This one I think is more 1941. We'll put that one there. It's starting to come together. Oh, hi guys. Welcome to the History Hunter. We do the research travel, go out and find incredible World War II history to share with all of you today. You've been waiting for this. This is part two of a absolutely stunning find that me and my son Eagle Eyes did out there. We found one of the rarest German World War II weapon systems that you can ever imagine inside what seems to be like a completely untouched German World War II bunker, almost like they just left. And when you see that weapon system inside there, you're going to think, how on earth is it possible that that thing is actually still there? All right, watch the video in full length and you can kind of help us out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't seen part one, I'll put a link here where it says more. Just click that. Under there, you'll find the link for part one. See it first to get some full context. Come back to this one. And now, let's see what me and Eagle Eyes found at this very special German World War II location. And now, for the biggest surprise of them all. Um, if it hadn't been for Eagle Eyes' eyes, that's why he's called Eagle Eyes. Because my eyes are too good. They are too good. I just passed this thing that you're going to see now, and I cannot believe how I can pass that thing without seeing it. Blind. I was walking through here and Eagle Eye just smiled and said, Daddy, uh, first, look at that. What the heck is going on here? There's a massive something there. Motor? But not only that, is that an automated motor? If that, it, I'm going to cry. Then, you will not believe this. It's a panzer turret. What the heck is going on here? And I didn't see that. How did you spot that, Eagle Eyes? Because my eyes are better. That means something serious is under here. Let me see if I can And I can tell you, I think it starts with what I can see there. Oh, are you kidding me, Eagle Eyes? <laughs> Let me see here. <laughs> Let me see. Let me show one of the openings there. There's one there. Come around here. Yeah. You can see one there. And then suddenly you can see what it's the metal. heck is here. But what is more exciting is, what is that, Eagle Eyes? Is that another piece of something? That's a ventilation shaft. There's something huge under here, Eagle Eyes. Can you see that? Oh my God, there's a bunker down here. What are you talking about? I think there is something that's going to surprise us right there, Eagle Eyes. How crazy. I think, I'm starting to think there's an automated uh, motor here. If that is so, we didn't know anything about this so that is crazy guys all right let me take a couple of photos of the dome and let's go to the front side of what i think is actually a huge bunker and it's right down here the entrance is probably here this could be something really unique guys and if it is ah oh, it's going to be one of those that you just say are we that lucky and yes we are there oh my god Goodness. Eagle Eyes, yeah. how come we didn't know about this? Uh, wow. Look, open? guys. Look, guys. There's a huge bunker here. We had no clue of this massive bunker being here. And look oh, at the pile no. of the barbed wire there. You have got to be kidding me. This is what it's all about, guys. Going out and then thinking you know what is here and getting surprised by this ta turret, the Panzer turret. And we think it's a bunker for an automated mortar, which is very, very rare. And if that is inside there, I'm just going to lay down and cry. and cry, guys. It seems like it has its own MG turret. 
and the entrance for the uh, near defense system and the MG position is there. But what we are interested in is what could be inside this, this very, very interesting bunker. And have a look here, guys. It's really, they planted so many rocks down here that they want it to go away. Look at the pile of German combat barbed wire. Not only that, there is something going in there, you guys. Can you see that? There's a passage going up there. So this huge steel beam, is that, it's been cut there. You really? see that? And there's a camel webbing yeah, it's holders. Well. It's a cut, they tried to get that, but they couldn't get it. They torched it to try and get the metal ones, but they couldn't. But what is that there? Um, guys, you have to give us a few seconds because I cannot hold the camera at the same time as I try to get Custom down into call. this. So I'll grab onto this side, go down, and I'll meet you down there. You see here, we're walking on top of the barbed wire. So First, we just want to see. Wow, there's a huge room here. Oh. I'm not sure whether that is just a bunker or what it is. Let's check it out inside. All right, Eagle Eye is gonna be up there guarding me. Oh, see if the crowd here. comes. See here, they tried to shut this with barbed wire and these rocks, they fell in to this room here. And I have a stalactite or whatever. I knocked down one of these. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is such an incredible location, guys. See that original wood inside there? And this is how it is for us. This is real. We didn't know about this place. We had no clue that we might be able to go into a automated bunker, uh, a motor bunker. I, we had no clues whatsoever. You can see cables laying on the floor, very old wood pieces, this little thing here that looks like from a bunker oven actually. I think that's a piece from a bunker oven, a field, a kind of a trench bunker oven. And that's the emergency exit. So we, we had no clues that this was here. So this is the benefit of going out there. You can really, really stumble across something like this. But now guys, we want to take you into this beast of a bunker and see what's inside. That, my friend, is a German World War II S-Mine display and we create and give them away to our patron team members. This is a German Soldatenheim little shadow box. This is a 9mm munition box. Everything here is original. These are artifacts from the Second World War and we give them away to our patron team members. If you want to check out how to become a patron team member, there's a link here in the video description where it says more. Just click that, then you click the link for the uh, Patreon, and then you'll see how you can become a Patreon team member, and you will in the end end up with something absolutely spectacular, some small artifacts from the Second World War, and we will share history in a very special way together. We just discussed what we will do if it's closed. We're definitely gonna cry. Maybe not in front of you guys, but we are definitely gonna cry if it is closed. But, well, all we can do is go down and see if it is, and it isn't. Eagle eyes, yeah. it is actually open. Oh. This, guys, can turn out to be a very, very special explorer. You can see here, you have the different, um, see here, the flinches for the ventilation. Are you coming, Eagle eyes? My flashlight. And, and you can see, you have your flashlights. I don't have it, you have it. I don't have it. Okay, give us a second, guys. All right, we just had to find Eagle Eyes' flashlight, the Ruben X2. Can't lose it. I am kind of a bit nervous to go inside here. I don't want it to be flooded. That's why all guys go first. Oh, wow. This is really, really cool. See here, one of the ventilation shafts, that's a one-way valve just laying there. Oh wow, the cables are still, and look there Eagle Eyes, there's a food container standing there. I'm standing on one There's first. so, let me see if I can go here, yeah. Okay. See there, food container inside okay, okay. the box. Can you see the food container? Okay. It's just staying there. And all the cables, guys. It's amazing. 
this, this is the emergency exit and it really looks like it's untouched. I'm just gonna go in the water here because wow. I wanna go in here. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Ooh, you gotta be kidding. There's a bottle there, it's a wine bottle just standing there and there's a ladder. I'm going bananas, can we get in there? Wow, slow down, history hunter. You have got to be kidding me. What is in here? Wow, do you know what, Elias? This is unreal. Oh, there's so much water here. This is the munition storage for the automated um, water. And look at this, there are shelves on the wall. But that water is too deep, guys. Let's go in there. It's okay. No, 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 it's too deep, I'm telling you. It's gonna go and make you completely wet to your ankles. Let's see if we can do some kind of plan here. See here, guys, I wanna go into that turret where that mortar could be. What the heck is that huge thing there? with a crank handle. I don't believe my eyes here. And let me see in the back here, Elias. See that bottle? It's got to be German stuff, huh? And there's this room, this is probably the shutter room, but there's a ladder to the second floor. What? Second floor? Ah! Oh. Okay, Elias, I think I'm gonna have a little plan here. I'm gonna, First try and get that bottle there, okay? And you are gonna stay right there and give me some help with the camera or with the light. Can you do that? Yeah. So I'm gonna hold this here. Did you lose anything? No, I'm, I'm just gonna, don't give. It's on max now. If I get, this is a rifle rack. This is a rifle rack. This is right, oh, this is wet. This is wet. Oh, I'm gonna get wet, but I need that. <laughs> ah! Yes. Oh, yeah. This is unreal, guys. This is a bottle from a German mortar bunker. Look at that. I'm going crazy. This is a German wine bottle right out from a bunker where the Germans left. And this is how it looks today. And I'm really wet in my feet. Oh, my goodness. It stinks. Petrol or whatever. Petrol. Yeah, there's oil. oil. Can you see there's oil inside here? But you're not gonna walk in there. I'm gonna walk in there. I'm gonna get wet, guys. I'm gonna take it for you. You supported us. We'll give it all. Okay, in I go. I'm gonna regret this, but here we go. Salute. Ah! Bye. You're saluting me? Oh my goodness. Wet, wet, wet. You're big. <gasps> what is that thing? I have to see up here. I have to see up here. Oh my lord. That's the dome, Eagle Eyes. I love you. Oh. Okay. I, don't trust that I can climb up there. I can climb up there. I need to go up there. We need to go up there. Everybody okay. needs to go up there. Okay. I need to get okay. rid of the backpack. Why am I? Why, why, shut up, eagerly. <laughs> okay. I'm getting excited. Oh, that's wet. That's wet. That's the shutter. This bunker is totally amazing. And I just walked in that dirty water. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. I am excited. Okay, I have to I have to drop the backpack. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Ah What am I doing? What am I doing? Wet, wet, wet. Ah. Here we go, guys. There's another. See here? Oh, that's a bottle. Okay. Oh, that really smells like gasoline, guys. I'm going to die. Okay, I'm gonna now do the stupid stunt and try and get up that ladder. Um, I need to drop my backpack, so huh, how do we do that? I just go up with it and then come in here. Okay, just give me a second, guys. This, guys, is once in a lifetime. I'm now gonna try and climb up that ladder where you see the observation turret. Well, I have some gloves. Eagle Eyes is gonna help me with the one flashlight. I'm gonna try and re do something with the camera. Please don't, you know, cut my head off if I don't do it perfectly when it comes to recording. But here we go. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, no frogs. <laughs> oh, there's another bottle. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go up here and do my very best not to fall down. If you fall down oh, you this is moving. Down. This is actually loose, you guys. But to get up there, you guys, I cannot hold the camera, so I have to put the camera on me somehow. And when I get up there, I'm gonna try and do my very best to record the turret from above there, okay? How can it be this ridiculous? I'm up, halfway up a Panzer turret in a German bunker that nobody has been in for so many years. Am I stupid or what is going on here? <laughs> All right, guys, I have managed to come this far. I see some kind of pipe system, something here, and then boom, there's the hatch. I'm gonna try and get a bit further up, but I really, struggle to hold the camera at the same time and I promised that I will definitely get up here and show you what it looks like. Here we are. This guys is, oh my goodness eagle eyes. I have a beautiful detail. Can you see that guys? 1940. The turret is built in 1940. Let me show you. Can you see the date there? 1940? And maybe the build number? I don't know. That is crazy, guys. So this turret was built in 1940. And now we are here trying to uh, get rid of all the spiders here. Oh, this is as far as I can get, sorry. See here, guys. Oh my good, there are some huge spider sacks here. Good I need a present for doing this. Holy cow. Okay. This is where Hans used to stay and look outside. Maybe a machine gun was attached there. I haven't got a clue, there was hatches there. And you can see the wood in these hatches here and this stupid, ridiculously large spiders under there. Ah, I hate them. Okay, but I have to tell you, See that? 1940. How cool is that? I can see a millerian aluminium ring go around there. I can't squeeze through here, so guys. It's just too narrow for me. I tried. Um, I haven't got a clue what that ring is for, but it's probably to position the turret. Oh, wow. Crazy cool. But let's go and see if we can find the room where the mortar was. Then guys, look there, there's another bottle, a broken one, right there. Then we we'll take up the bottom here. Yeah, this is remarkable that there are actually bottles here, still in the bunker from the days when the Germans were here. That is so, so rare to find. And I'm gonna walk over here to the bottle that is intact. And now guys, oh, I'm so wet. <laughs> oh, this is even deeper guys. But Eagle Eye is gonna help me with some lights here. And laugh. he's gonna laugh at me. But I'll do whatever it takes to give you some good footage guys. Are you ready? Good. <sighs> here we go. Oh, that's freaking deep. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. The motor is in there. You have got to be kidding me. You don't, you don't have to give me full power. Is this for real? Is the motor still in there? There's the motor cabinet that held the, the shells. Look at that. The electrics are still on the wall, but it's very, very moist here, guys. This is once in a lifetime to find an automated, is it a more, it has to be. I'm gonna go on top here, guys. This handle here, okay, a huge handle. And the, I'm just gonna see that that holds. I got to be crazy to do this, but hey guys, we are here. That's a clamp, maybe hoisting the, um, the rounds, oh my goodness, I'm afraid to see upwards, but I'm gonna do that, oh my freaking god, 
The mortar is here, eagle eyes. Are you kidding me? Is it really? Or has it been dismantled? This is... Oh my goodness. 19... What does it say? 1939. It says 1939 there. Oh, I have to get up there. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is one of the rarest weapons to see out there. And it's right in front of me. That is almost unbelievable. But did they, I think they removed some of it. <sighs> there are stupid things in my head and everywhere. Oh my God. This is crazy, guys. But what are these electrical things here? See that? Very complex thing. Am I mistaken? And this could be a radar? I'm absolutely not 100% sure right now. I'm going to see if we can get up here, Eagle Eyes, okay? I think that's the middle radian ring. And it's just laying there. I think that's the middle radian ring. It is very, very rusty here, Eagle Eyes. And these are the cabinets that held. No, it is an automated mortar. This is unbelievable. I've never, ever seen anything like it. Okay, let me see if I can get up there. Wow. There are gears. There are levers. This looks like a pedal that someone could activate. We do think this is one of the rarest things you can ever find. It's an automated motor. I look there. 1938, 143. So maybe that is turret number 143 producer codes oh my goodness guys i know i say that a lot but this time this is something that you never never ever see we've never seen it and i've seen a lot and this thing holy madonna fully automated german world war ii mortar inside a panzer turret dome it is marked 1938 and the producer's code right there. Or oh, is it 39? It's 38. All right, guys, you can see here all kinds of things. Someone has dismantled things from it because it's not complete. But, uh, or is it? Is that the tube that fires it? No, it can't be. That's supposed to be bigger. I think it went up here. I'm just going to make sure that I don't fall through this thing. Wow. Let me feel. No. Oh, 153. I think that is the motor barrel. I think it is. And the motor round came in from the magazine somehow, and then that is the tube itself. Somehow I think it is. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is so incredible weird to come across. I'm just gonna be very careful so I don't fall through this thing. See the gear and the lever, some kind of fixture is missing. This is most likely the firing barrel. <sighs> Sorry. There's a gear right in there. Electrical connector. You got eyes? I do think the motor tube is still there actually. Because this thing I think will be raised up and then this tube would be visible here and then do, do, do. So they fire, I think. And then it came out, was spit out, and they reloaded a new one. Maybe this thing here is the clue of that. I'm not sure. Or was it in here? See, a lot of levers. Number, see that? Number 25 on that piece. This is so incredible. Cables, 
electrical cable still there. And I think maybe an operator seat was right there. And it's rusted straight through. This is unbelievable. What does it say? 41? I don't know. There are some inscriptions in the wall, actually, in the concrete. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is the ring, the middle radian ring, telling you the direction or the orientation of the barrel or the point to where it's a point, pointing to on. Um, so forget about it, uh, guys. I'm just so excited to see this thing. Oh my goodness. And I did it. I'm inside one of the rarest places to find on Earth when it comes to German World War II wartime technology. An automated mortar machine right here. Oh my goodness, this is almost unreal and I'm so happy that I'm standing right here now. Do you think the operator would sit right here where I am now? Right here he would be. Because this is, well, I think it was a seat. This thing could swivel around and uh, I, maybe even the electronics decided where it was shooting. Maybe that is the activator pedal. He put his foot here and doom, doom, doom. There's a pedal there as well. You see a gear here, the larger gear there. I don't know what to say, guys. This is so, so incredible. And when you get everything into context and you see that. 1938. <laughs> wow, I really don't know what to say. One of those moments you just have to say, wow. And we shared it with all of you guys. All right, guys, we are leaving it just as we found it. And what more can I say than that? That was one absolutely incredible experience. And it's thanks to all of you people out there who support us. There's nothing more to say than thank you each and every one of you for being here with us because you make this all come true. All right, I'm gonna go back. But first, I just wanna show you the room here. These are the shelves that all of these mortar rounds were put. And there is something that I really can't get my head around. You can see it here, this is like a ditch here. And that is very, very strange because, what is that? Nevertheless, um, see this trench here and this thing here? I cannot understand what that huge thing is. But just imagine how many rounds of mortar munition that must have been here. And I'm gonna go quickly through the water here. I can see it, let me go here. Yeah, there's a cabinet there with cables everywhere. But what is that thing? Well, there's another bottle, Eagle Eyes. There's actually another bottle right there. Holy cow, what is that machine? I'm gonna carry this bottle over here. Two bottles inside a German World War II bunker, fully intact, just laying there. But that machine, what was that? I haven't got a clue. But what I have a clue of is this came about just because of you guys. Nothing of this would have happened if it hadn't been for your very, very kind support that sends me and Eagle Eyes out to these incredible locations. What do you say, guys? Was that spectacular or what? That is what we do. We do go out and find and share incredible World War II history. And if you want to help us out to reach more incredible locations like that, you know you can help us out with a little donation here on our Super Thanks feature here. Basically your opportunity to just help us to get some fuel into the camper van, go out and share even greater stories than what you saw here today. You can also help us out with a little PayPal donation if you want to. You can find that here. Just click here where it says more. 
Under there, you find our PayPal donation button. Click that and all the donations coming in are greatly appreciated. But also you can click here if you want to become a Patreon team member. Because you saw, we actually give all of these artifacts back to our Patreon team members and supporters for the PayPal donations. And we do that every month. So you can check out the video in the beginning of each month called uh, Supported Days. Uh, supported day video and you can see that i create some beautiful world well, to shadow boxes and all that and we give them away to you because we have a motto history is everywhere and it should be out there everywhere and that is what we do we share incredible stories together and this bunker and that weapon system the automated uh, German World War II mortar we never ever seen anything like it and i guess you've never ever seen anyone show you something like that and that is what we do and i do hope you appreciate the effort that we put into all of these this is going to be another story these are german world war ii uh, mine detonators they're harmless this one is actually marked uh, 1940 and they are part of a story that's going to come later these are uh cartridges that we found on different kind of battlefields. This is the original German 88 millimeter uh, Bakelite uh, container, uh, complete with all the details and markings inside. Absolutely stunning machine gun belt from an MG42, a little piece from a K98 rifle. This is what we do. We do find history and share it with all of you, as I said, and in the end, it will be yours. All right, guys, enough. I will start creating more videos for you to enjoy. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the notification bell and make all our notifications allowed to come true. And you will be notified every time we release a new video. Thank you for being here, for watching, subscribing, commenting. Greatly, greatly appreciated. Let us meet out there in the next one. Until then, just stay safe, keep smiling, and f don't forget absolutely never never surrender stay safe and bye bye